What is going on everybody and welcome to part 37b of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be continuing with our scoreboard by adding panels for each individual player to it. So for this, we're just going to be working in our custom underscore scoreboard dot Lua file and inside of this scoreboard show function. So the first thing that we want to do in here is create a local variable right at the top of this. And this will be local player list. And I'm just going to set this equal to nil. And what this player list is, is it's going to be a D panel list that we're going to initialize, or sorry, a D list layout that we're going to be initializing in just a little bit here. So after all that, let's go ahead and navigate inside to the bottom of this if not is valid scoreboard derma statement. So right at the bottom of this, we want to go ahead and create ourselves another local variable. And this will be called player scroll panel. And we're going to set this equal to vgui.create d scroll panel. And we're going to make this a child element of the scoreboard derma. And what this player scroll panel is going to do for us is if at any time it's needed, it'll create a vertical scroll bar so we can go ahead and scroll through the rest of the elements, or in this case, the rest of the players that are currently in the game. So with this, we want to go ahead and initialize or set some values here. And the first one we want to do is the size. So let's go ahead and set the size to scoreboard derma colon get wide, as well as scoreboard derma colon get tall. And actually, we want to make this get tall minus 20. And I'll explain that in just one second. Next up, we want to do the player scroll panel colon set pause. And we're going to set the x value to 0 and the y value to 20. And the reason for this is because we want this scroll panel to be positioned 20 pixels from the top. So it's not covering the title or so it's not covering the title bar of this D frame up here. So that's what that's going to do for us. After that, we want to go ahead and actually create this player list. And we do this by doing player list equal or equals VGY dot create D list layout. And this will be a child element of the player scroll panel. And then some values that need to be set are the size. So we'll set the size to the same exact thing up here, except it'll be the player scroll panel colon get wide. And then the player scroll panel colon get tall. We want to set the position and this will be just X of zero, Y of zero. Now that all of that is done, there currently won't be any noticeable changes. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and populate this player list with the individual panels for each player that are, is currently in the game. So let's go ahead and navigate down to this if statement here. And just right at the top, let's go ahead and do this now. So first thing I want to do is actually clear this player list. So I do this by doing player list colon clear. And what this will do for us is it will go ahead and remove every single child of player list. So we already have players in there or player panels in there. It'll go ahead and remove them and then start fresh for whatever we do down here. And what we're doing down here is we're going to be creating a, a for loop. So for k comma v in pairs. And this loop is going to be looping through every single player currently in game. So we get this by doing player dot get all. And we do the put the do and then the end. And now in here we want to create a local player panel variable. And so this is equal to VGUI dot create a D panel. D panel. And this will be a child element of the player list. And the player panel is going to have a size, so set size of player list colon get wide. And we want it to have a height of 50. And then the position of it is just going to be at 0, 0 again. And then we want to go ahead and make this look a little bit fancy. So we're going to go ahead and call upon our paint function here. And we're going to be drawing two rounded boxes. The first one being the background of it. So draw dot rounded box with corner radius of 0, 
x value of 0, y value of 0. And then the width and the height are just going to be the player list, or sorry, the player panel, colon, get wide, as well as the player panel, colon, get tall. And then the color of it is going to be just a darker gray. You can set this to whatever you want, but just for this one, we're going to set it to a dark gray. The next up, we want to go ahead and draw another rounded box. And this one's just going to be a small one pixel white border at the bottom of this player panel. So a corner radius of zero again, X value of zero again, and Y value of 49. What this is going to do for us is it's going to position this border right at the bottom of the current player panel. Then after that, we want the width and the height, which will just be the player panel colon get white again. And since this is just a border, we want it to be one pixel tall. And then a color of white or whatever color best suits you. And once that is all done, we should be go good to go, except for this part right here. This should actually be right up here because what's going to happen is since this code is only called one time because the scoreboard derma technically can only be invalid once unless we were to make it nil somewhere else in our code which we're currently not so what would happen is this player list would be set to nil every single time if it was within the scoreboard and then causing errors down here telling us that it's a nil value so this actually needs to be up at the top of the file just right underneath this scoreboard derma variable once that is all done, everything should work perfectly fine. If we go into game now, and I'm just going to start up a 16-player server here so I can show what happens when there's multiple players. But let's go ahead and start up the game now and see if everything works. Now that we are in-game, if we press tab here, you can see that since I am currently on the server, there would be a single player. And as you can see, there is a single panel here with that dark gray background and one pixel border at the bottom. If I were to go ahead and add another player, or in this case, a bot, press tab again, you can see that we now have the two panels there. And if I keep on doing that over and over again until there's a bunch of them, you can see that our scroll panel here has activated and created a vertical scroll bar for us because, as you can see, the elements do not all fit onto this D frame. So we can go ahead and scroll up and down with that, and I can keep going, adding more and more until I can't add any more. And now if we go in, we can see that since we have more elements now, we can scroll down farther and then scroll all the way back up in order to see the other players. So that right there will conclude part 37B. And next time we will be actually drawing some information on here, such as the player name, the player's balance, and all the other fun stuff. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.